Hey guys, I'm Sarika and welcome to Your Knowledge Buddy. So today I'm back with another new video and I'm going to talk about internship. And I've selected UNICEF because even freshers can apply. You don't need to have any experience. Whether you have graduated in the last two years or you are still studying, you all are eligible. Whether you're from India, Pakistan, Nigeria, Africa, anywhere, everyone is eligible. If you want to know details, make sure you keep watching the video till the end. And also last year, there were three people who were successful from my channel and I wish there are more and more people every year. So let's begin. So just to give a little background for people who don't know about UNICEF. So they are in 190 countries and they operate with headquarters in New York and any student from anywhere part of the world can apply. There's no deadline for the UNICEF. So this is all about the position. So if you apply for one particular position, there's a deadline for that. And every time you will have to check their website to see how many positions are available, which I'm going to show you in a demo. Now, who, like I said, it's open for everyone and freshers can apply. And if you have graduated in the last two years, you can apply and you need to be 18 years of age. Now, let's see the eligibility criteria in little detail. Now, you need to be proficient in one of the working languages, which is English, French or Spanish. You are if you are a current student who is studying now, whether you are undergraduate, graduate or PhD program holder or graduate in the last two years, you are eligible. If you have excellent academic performance, you are eligible, but you should not have any immediate relative like your mother, father, sister, brother working with UNICEF and you shouldn't have no other relatives in your reporting line of authority and you must be at least 18 years of old. That's it. That's the eligibility criteria. Now, financial benefits, so there's no application fee, anybody can apply free of charge and you will be paid. There is a monthly stipend which will be given to you. Your travel costs will be paid, your visa costs will be paid. So it's almost covered everything. So you don't need to pay anything from your pocket and the duration of internship, it varies. So it can be anywhere from six to 26 weeks. Now, how to apply? You will have to apply online. Um, but make sure before you apply, you have all your documents ready, like your CV, your cover letter, and also you need your highest level of education certificate. Now, I'll provide all the links in my website, which you can go and check it out. Before I start today's video, if you're planning to study in the UK and don't know where to start, I did highly recommend checking out lipscholar.com. They can connect you to a study abroad expert within just five minutes. You'll also get personalized university shortlist using their AI and recommendation engine and a host of other services like SOP writing, visa interview prep and exciting study abroad events. They also offer the best IELTS preparation courses with some of India's top educators and their IELTS courses are quite cheap for anyone. So if you're looking to study abroad this year, do check them out from the links in my video description. So let's get started with the demo. So this is the official website of UNICEF where you will see all the current vacancies. So you need to scroll down a little bit here and look at the different filters. So the first is the contract type. So make sure you tick this box as internship and then move to the position level, which is the last filter and then scroll down here where you see internship. Now you can see there are two filters supplied with internship. So based on the current position and uh, you can see all the results so at the moment i can see there are six to seven positions available here you can see the location the details and also the deadline for this particular position and as you can see the deadline is different because it depends on the position you're applying and if you scroll down you can read through the details of the location and the deadline so what i'm going to do is i'm going to quickly show you a demo just say for this one which is in switzerland so i've already opened this here so make sure whichever internship you're interested in open that read the details here you can see this is for six months and you need to be in switzerland for it it means your visa will be covered your flight cost will be covered you just need to be eligible to apply so make sure you read all the details here and at the bottom you can see the minimum qualification which they are asking for which we already went through you can read this in detail and they are also looking for some desirable qualification so if you have some desirable qualification, you also have an edge over any other candidate, but these are not the mandatory requirements. And then here, as you can see, this is for six months, location, visa, stipend, insurance, mandatory courses, equipment, leave, and how to apply, everything is mentioned here. So other than the application form, you also need to download P11 form, which you can download it from here, which is asking about the personal details. So make sure you fill both the forms. And at the bottom here, you have apply now. The moment you click on it, you will be prompted to create your account or if you're a returning user, you need to log in with your ID. So for this demo, I've already created an account. So I'm going to show you very quickly. 
So this is the home page of UNICEF. As you can see, I've already created my account and also I started with the application. So I'm going to click on complete application. So at the top here, you can see the progress bar. So we were at the home page. Now we are on the personal details page. So few of the important bits are personal details, nationality, education, employment history, provide all those details language proficiency and then here documents what you need to so i'll quickly go through it so this is the first page provide your name as it's shown on your passport your date of birth gender your address and your phone number and then here what i'm going to do is i'll move quickly to the education bit so in your education make sure you provide whether you are current student or you are studying now so here are the details which you need to select from and then the type of education your degree type your discipline and your major as well and later on your country institution city campus and your education type and when you started and when you finish or you are expected to finish all the details will go here because it's important now employment history for people who got any experience but for people who don't have any experience don't worry if you have zero experience you can just click on i have less than one year of experience and when you click here you can see no previous employment but if you have experience make sure you go and select your employer from here and then you can save uh, and move to the next page. Let's move to the languages. Here, like I said, English, if you know English, which is good, you can add here. So then you have three categories, speaking proficiency, reading proficiency, and writing proficiency. So you can select the based on your level. So I've just mentioned here proficient in all the three. Now, in terms of uh, next important bit is the documents to upload. Like I've said, you need your CV, you need your cover letter, which is important, and you need your highest level of education certificate. And also, if you have any other supporting documents, say your transcripts, you can submit that. If you have a work experience as well, you can submit your experience letter or your current letter from your employer, which will help your case. Now, in terms of people who don't know how to write a cover letter or a CV, what you can do is in my previous videos, I have already uh, UK CV or Europe CV cover letter which you can use if you just go to my channel your knowledge buddy on the right here just write UK CV and you can see I have done our CV via Europass which you can use and in the same fashion you can use the cover letter as well um, so make sure you just use the same format okay some other important points on the UNICEF page there are other details as well they have given you some tips how to prepare for the interview and their core values as well you can read here what they offer and how to join them all the details are provided on their page so make sure you spend some time reading about unicef and whatever your answers are it should always relate to the core values which they follow which is about care respect integrity trust and accountability there are enough details here so make sure you take out some time and read about it and somewhere i think i read how they hire so this is very important again you can go through the details of how they search how they self-assess how you can apply how the shortlisting happens what are the criteria they look and assessment and the outcome so make sure you make yourself familiar with all this process so that's all for the video guys i hope you found this demo useful if you guys got any question make sure you let me know in the comment section and all the best to everyone who's applying i'll see you guys soon with my next video and thanks for watching my video till then keep learning